And let's try another interesting option. As you can see, we have a window. And we have a pipe inside it. And it's really obvious that they have an intersection. And let's find it automatically. Add test. Now we have a pipe in one hand. Then use it. And the window from other hand. And use it. Type hard tolerance 0. And let's write. Yeah, it's pretty simple. We have a clash. But you know, we can take a pipe and then go to item tools, then use move, move, and then move it. For example, right here. And now this work has noticed that something has changed. And OK, let's go to select and run test again. And now the status is resolved. So now there is no particular intersection, no clash for the nervous works. So in a real workflow, you can check uh, one system, one mechanical system. In, in one case, you can take the duck and move it for 100 or maybe for 10 centimeters left or right, and then you can check this duct in another system in another test. So you do not need to go back to the Revit and rebuild all your model, all, the, all of the elements to check what will happen if you move your duct for 10 cm right or 10 cm left. So sometimes it's a pretty useful option to check your model and not to go back every time in Nevisworks and not to ask your colleagues to rebuild your model.